Hey everybody, Fish Whisperer here from Northern Ontario Fishing Forum and um, today I'm just going to show you a very easy way to clean um, ruffed grouse or partridge for some people. So very very easy to uh, very easy to clean these uh, beautiful birds. Uh, simply just grab them first. I usually like to pull the wings out. Step on both wings close to the body. Make sure your bullets don't fall out. Because that could be bad. So, with the bird fully pinned to the ground, grab a hold of both legs. I like to reach down and grab just, you know, where you got the good meaty part. Sometimes if you pull up like this, uh, when you're pulling farther back, you'll actually just pull the legs off. So make sure you get a really, really good grip on the legs. And slowly, just pull. And what will happen is, the head will all come off with the legs, okay? So, you still got the legs right here. You don't want to waste anything, so what I do is I just got a good pair of garden snips that I got at like Canadian Tire, okay, and just come in and give a good pinch, okay. Remove one of the legs, pull the feathers back, expose the meat. Now there's not a lot of meat on on the legs. Some people won't take them, but what I like to do is I'll uh, I'll clip off the uh, feet. Uh, when I'm ready to eat, but I'll grab about maybe 12 to 15 of them and even though there's not a lot of meat on them If you fry them up in some garlic butter, they're almost like a frog's leg So, you know if you get 10 to 15 of them you fry them all up at once and then you got a pretty good meal Okay, so now you can discard The head and feathers and what you're left with Sometimes the entrails come out And sometimes they don't So what you do is just scoop out the entrails Get rid of those and then you got to keep one wing on for transporting, okay? So I usually just peel back all the feathers. And then just again clip one wing, okay? Just like that. Clean it off and it's ready for transport, okay? Good. Now normally I do this at home, but I just want to show you really quickly. we got a nice... Um, um, rough grouse here uh, and I'm just going to show you how I quickly what I do when I'm at home when I'm ready to uh, when I'm ready to actually eat them I like to debone the breast meat and I find it's very 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 simple to uh, debone the breast meat from um, from the partridge so simply you've got one backbone that kind of comes right back along here so with a nice sharp knife I just come right in and go right down along that bone okay and you can just peel back the meat and you just kind of come in almost like you're just flaying, flaying a fish, okay? And just go right along this bone as close in as you can and then come right back down the body just like that. And then what you're left with is the perfect breast of meat. And I've pretty well gotten most of the meat off here. You can come in and get a little bit in here, but to be honest with you, there's not a lot. I mean, sometimes I'll come in, just get in on the initial cut. You know, I'll get in as hard as, uh, as close as I can, but really I'm not too worried about. And then once you're, uh, once you're done, really you've gotten a lot. Unless you're going to stew the, uh, the whole body or barbecue it, if you're just looking to get a breast, uh, that's the easiest thing to do. And I find that it's a lot easier to do it right when you clean it, when you get home, instead of freezing the whole body first and then def uh, defrosting it and then trying to remove the breast. So what I'll do is once I'm home and I'm ready to clean it, uh, I'll remove this and then I simply, if I am going to freeze it, I put it in a Ziploc bag filled with water and freeze the whole thing in water. I learned that from uh, another member on our forum, uh, Muskie Hunter told me about that and it works really well. So there's a very quick way on how to uh, de-breast uh, a partridge. All right, thank you very much.